Hello. I'm not wearing the same clothes as yesterday or three days ago. I don't know how often I'm going to put these videos out. I'm recording on the same day, obviously. I'm going to turn this camera just a little bit. Doot, 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 doot. My camera makes a noise when it moves. This is Michigan. College basketball 2023, or just 23, I guess. We're doing a, a Michigan save. We've gone through most of the recruiting. That was in video number one. If you haven't seen it, just uh, go back and see it. Or I'll give you a quick recap. We haven't, we've got two offers out. We haven't got any commits yet. We've got two scholarships to give out this year. Um, I did the strategy. We're going to be running and gunning, pressing the whole game, high tempo offense. So I'm going to rotate a lot of players, two at each position. Uh, and that's where we're at. So let's have a look. I'll show you the two guys we offered. We need a point guard, so I did Mark Green here. He's from New England, and he likes Duke, Oklahoma, and Notre Dame. Blech. We are kind of not even on his list anymore. Don't know how that happened. But it says that he's warm on us. Steve Jensen at the time, I had no interest, but he's my man. He's my man, so... I'm going to make an executive decision. Should I? You know, for a guy that's so highly rated, he's only got three offers. Maryland, Villanova, and UConn. UConn I'm kind of worried about. No, I was going to switch. I was going to take that scholarship back, but I've, I did that twice in the first episode by accident. I meant to watch film, but I accidentally offered people scholarships. So when I took them back, I lost prestige. I went from 71 to 68 already. So that's going to be tough. So Brian Nielsen likes location. So let's talk location when we go. Okay. And the next one, Mark Green. He likes academics. Now our school, you need a nine, oh, a thousand. So our academics are good. What are you talking about? We're going to pitch academics. But even if they weren't good, I'd still pitch academics. Just because I don't know, like, I don't know if that's good or not. Like, if they're focused on one category and we're not good at that category, do you still pitch it? There's a question. It is a question. Uh, Steve Jensen, I'm coming to your house. If you get hot on us, we are going to offer you. We're going to give you Brian Green scholarship. Tired of talking. Close to home conference. No, I'm going to power through this. I need information. I'm coming to your house tomorrow. You didn't lose connection. You're lying. Do you like facilities? <laughs> Keep talking to me. Do you like academics? All right, I'll leave you alone. You waste so much of my phone time. Now, what did I get out of that? You like school prestige. Well, how 68 grab you? 71 probably would have grabbed you a little bit. 3% more, but we don't have 71 anymore. We have 68. Justin Smith, you're a power forward. I was going to was gonna come over there. Uh, Corey Harvey, we don't have a lot of information for you. Let's waste the rest of my phone time. Don't send me emojis back or tell me that you're too busy. Or tweet. Don't tweet when I'm talking to you. This is important. I only have 20% phone time left. Get off your phone. Well, get off this phone and get on the home phone, the one that I called. Oh, do the coaches call the house anymore? Like, everyone's got cell phones. I wonder how that works. Who did I just talk to? Who was that? Was that Corey Harvey? Yeah, he likes playing time and location. Where are you from? So where are you from? Illinois. Okay, we'll give you playing time. Wait, I got to look again. I have such a bad memory. No, that's not him. Who was it? Corey Harvey. Yeah, where are you from, Corey Harvey? Illinois. And you like the location. I'll just pitch you location. Whatever. No more visits left. I can host three more. Steve, you want to come? Oh, he already came. Did all the top guys come? Ruben Robinson, come. Come and see. Come see. 
Come see what we got going on here. Uh, we'll do Earl McConnell. I just like the name Earl. Let's watch a couple of these guys. Kelvin Kent, no interest. How did you get on my list? Were you top five somewhere? You get on my list? Let's have a look at you. Kelvin Kent. Okay, I'm clicking. Come on. He was top 25. He's from Ohio. How did he get on the list? <coughs> he has very little interest in coming to our school. Maybe that's how he got on the list. He's playing hard to get. I kind of like that. He's busy. Just a couple quick texts. Nah, lose my nut. Can you believe? He just told the Michigan coach to lose his number. Are you kidding me? Get out of here, Kelvin Kent. I wonder where you're going to go. He's in Ohio. That's why you think I'm jo He's from Ohio, and he just told the Michigan coach to lose his number. This game's got it all. I'll tell you that, because I'm sure that's happened. <laughs> I can't believe that. I've got a new edit. Whatever school you go to, I'm putting you on my schedule, and I'm going to crush you. Like a bug. Unless you go to like Yukon or something. then Maybe I'll wait a couple years. Um, oh, I should have kept Kelvin Kent on my watch list. I want to see where he goes. I don't even know how to get him back. Okay, we got some decisions. But none of the guys that we offered made decisions. Steve Jensen hit home. Who knows, maybe I'll end up going with you, but you're definitely in the running. Come on, Steve Jensen. Are you still out there? Are you still available? No, he went to North Carolina. North Takalaki. Takalaki. Okay. Well, where did Kent go? Can I find him? All recruits. Anyone contacted. I'm going to put him back on the watch list just so I can keep an eye on where he went. There he is. Who is he looking at? He's got no offers, and he told me to lose his number. Can you believe that? Can you even believe that? So I got four visits left. <laughs> can you imagine I get this Ohio guy to come? Okay, Brian Nielsen, I'm coming back to your house. Last time I pitched you location. This time I'm going to pitch you conference prestige. How about a little conference prestige? I'm going to watch you again, too. Mark Green, I pitched you academics last time. I'm going to pitch that again. I don't know. That's another thing. I don't know if pitching the same thing has any effect, but we're doing it. I would visit Mitchell Robbins, but he's in Ohio. I don't want to go back to Ohio. Maybe I'll see Kelvin Kent on the way. I'll flip him the bird. The bird. That's the worst thing. Oh, my God. He flipped me the bird. Can you talk to me for one second there, Michael Holmes? It's not like I'm coaching Michigan State. It's Michigan on the phone. He's got better things to do. Okay, Ruben Robinson, let's go. That was the chair. Uh, playing time. Other things to do. What's wrong with the youth of today? Just plain disrespectful. I'll pitch you playing time. Wait, where do you live? Minnesota? What? Okay, it's September. Okay, I'll go there. And Mitchell Robinson, I'll go to your house again. I'll pitch you playing time. I'll watch you. I have three more hosts left. So now at this point, I've, I'll host you. I'll host you. Oh, we got some two stars. Get out of here. Oh, I almost hosted him. Oh, that would have been awkward. Like the whole time he's at Michigan, I would have been like, oh my God, this guy's two star. Don't let him touch anything. <laughs> oh, I love it. Because these guys aren't real. So you can kind of make fun. 
So at this point, I'm going to go full recruit, interested recruits only. I don't know why I went full recruit. It's the same drop down. So interested recruits with a focus on point guards. So I'm going to look for anybody from beyond the region who's interested, who's three stars or above, that is not on my call list. And I'm going to add them to the call list. So we got all these five stars up there. Mitchell Robinson is a five star. Michigan State got a five star power forward from Michigan. Where's he from in Michigan? Swartz Creek. I don't know where that is. I keep looking over here as if I have a notepad, but I don't. My notepad is right there, my phone. So I'll look that up. Jack Page. He's not on my call list anymore, but I have visited him. Or I have hosted him. He's hot on us. I cut him because he didn't stand out at these camps. He doesn't have any offers. That's probably why. He's hot on everybody. He's a whore. Willis Durham, no. Jamal Jones, he's on my watch list, but not. So he did bad at a camp. Yeah, he was decent in Chicago. Didn't stand out in Indy. That's not bad. He's got an offer from Butler. He's good outside shooter, good defense. Let's add him back to the call list. We'll watch him, we'll host him, and we'll text him and say, what's up? Hey, what's up? What's up? Give me an emoji. See, I don't like the emojis. See ya. And that's it for the four stars. Yeah, that's all I'm going to add right now. That's advanced. September 18th is the date. Let's get some decisions here. We got our schedule. We're at Providence, and every other game is at home. I had no influence on this at all. So non-conference, we have Texas Southern, Maryland, Baltimore. Who are these people? South Carolina, Upstate, the Spartans, George Mason, Montana, Army. Wow, that's a puff schedule. I didn't even tell them that. I just... We got a lot of easy home games. So we should go, if we beat Providence, we should go undefeated all the way to the South Beast Showcase. I don't know who's going to be at that tournament, but I wonder if we can see tournaments. I wonder if the list of people that are going to be there, what was it? So, something South Beach so Showcase. No, it doesn't have the... Uh, We're going to play New Mexico, but it doesn't have the other teams listed. It should. What if I click on it from here? No. Oh, I got to advance from this screen here. So that's an acceptance of the schedule. Now they're going to process recruiting and finalize the schedules. I've already taken care of the strategy and the practice. So that's going to start soon and we're going to hit the ground running on that. Nine emails. That tells me we got some decisions. We do. Mark Green. Both of our guys made decisions. Mark Green, Michigan. Brian Nielsen, Michigan. Two for two on our offers. Steve Jensen, you made the wrong call. You made the wrong call. I don't care about all these visits anymore because we are done. We are done recruiting for the year. Um... We haven't started practicing, but we need high posts. We're decent already. Flex, we're going to need a lot of work. And the five out, we're going to need a lot of work. Okay. On the defensive side, half court trap, we're going to need a ton of work. And then man to man, we're already good. Two, three zone, we got to work on. Those are the strategies we're, we're working on. What was I just going to do? Oh, we're looking at the recruiting ranks. How did we do in terms of Big Ten teams? Middle of the pack, only because we had two scholarships. So you look at someone like uh, Nebraska, who's above us. You know, they had three. Why is Ohio State above us? They had one four-star. We had two. I guess their four-star is better than our two four-stars. But anyway, so we're eighth 
in the conference. As far as the entire association goes, we're 36th. Not bad, but I would have liked to get a five-star. I wonder if we offered Steve Jensen if we had even a chance of getting him. But if we did that, probably wouldn't have gotten the two guys we did because they did make their decision pretty early. Overall, I'm happy with the recruiting. We filled the need in, at point guard, and then we got another guard. Okay. So practice begins. Let's look at my watch because I want to see how much we're going to do here. We've already taken care of practice, so we can just go straight through that. Water break. Water break. October 9th. Nothing has happened. When is our first game? We have the Friars on November the 16th. So we got over a month of practice to do. I should probably focus less on man-to-man -man because we are proficient and focus on maybe the trap because that's a pretty big, pretty big deal. Let's have a look, see where we're at. Oh, it's coming along. The high post is coming along. What about the trap? Yeah, they're all at 20. We still got three weeks to go. And man to man, there's still, still some players that need some work to do. The freshmen. So we're just going to keep things the way they are. Processing recruits and running practice. Going to check a message. This is what I do. <laughs> this is what I do. That's what I do when we're, uh, when we're waiting. This is kind of a, a low point in the season. You know, but when we got all our recruits early, it's still running, recruiting, practice. We got a month where we're really, we're not doing anything. And during the season, I don't really do anything either. Everything's all set. If I have injuries, I'm going to obviously adjust the lineup. I'm going to adjust the depth chart just before the game. We have 10 days until the game. What is this email? It's probably scouting reports, I would think. Texas Southern. Why did we get that one before the Providence? Did they stick an extra game in there? Oh, red shirts. we got to do that. First, I'm going to check the schedule. Yeah, Texas Southern is second. So, oh, I already did my red shirts. Look at me. So I, I redshirted a uh, point guard and a, and a small four just because they're not going to play. Point guard, I got Ricky Lee, and then the senior, DJ Walton, who honestly just kind of one and a half stars as a senior. I don't know how that's even possible. But And then at small four, we got uh, our best player probably of the team, along with Will Haywood, and then Travis Walker. So I'm going to probably play Michael Masic maybe 28 minutes. Same with Haywood. Everyone else I'm going to do close to a 20-20 split. This is creepy. It's morning. So the time is... 11 to wait. I think I'm going to do one more after this. So we have, we still got 40 minutes left in this, in this video. So plenty of time to go. I'm going to set, put them out every three days. I have a work schedule where I go away for two weeks and I'm home for two weeks. So when I'm away, 
I mean, I have access to all this, but I'm usually in a hotel room or in a room at a camp. And I like to be loud. Woo! I can't really do that in a hotel. If I win a game, I want to be like, yeah! Beep, beep! You know? So I like to record at home. I'm comfortable. You know, I got my kitchen right here. Got outside right here. Got my phone right here. Oh, the games are on. Big Ten, Illinois, and Marshall in, in a tournament game, and then Minnesota and Hartford. I wonder if the standings are ordered in a... No. <laughs> I was just going to say... I, order, I was going to say, I wonder, I wonder if they're ordered in, like, the prediction, order of prediction, but no, it's just random by net, and that's just by conference. And there's no way they got Wisconsin predicted to finish last when they're preseason number 11. We're not rated at all preseason. Michigan State is ninth. That's just wrong. Ohio State's not rated either, but they're not really a basketball rival or a football rival or a rival at all. Kind of above them. Kind of like Michigan State. Well, that's true of Michigan State. Ohio State, I'm just kind of sticking it to them. I'm really sticking it to Michigan State. Okay. So, oh, I should have saved. Ooh, I hope I get through this sim. It's not so bad on this computer, but maybe once or twice a season it's going to crash during the sim. And it looks like we made it. We did make it. So, yeah, that's going to lock in our progress. And then we can go from there. Maybe I'm going to do only one more today. What time is it? So this one should be done at 11.40. Yeah, I'll do one more after this, depending on how I feel, depending on how it goes. So it's November, November 14th. I do sim to conference tournament because when you do sim to the end of the week, sometimes the end, it's a Friday and you got a Monday game. So the sim is going to stop and then you got to resim it. So if I do sim to conference tournament, it's just going to sim to my next game. It's not going to go all the way to the tournament. This is going to say 1% or whatever, but it doesn't matter. It's just going to sim to the next game, straight to the next game with no stops. And I find that goes a little faster. So Queens of North Carolina. There's, Despite having watched college basketball for over 30 years and playing this game for over four, there's still schools on here I've never heard of. Isn't that funny? There's so many. There's like 360 schools. I'm sure a lot of people watching know all the schools just by name, but I don't. And I say a lot of people watching. I don't know if anyone's watching. If you are watching, say hi. It's not live. It's not live. Okay, let's have a look at this game. I'm not going to do this every game, but it's the first game of the year. I want to see what they're saying. So we're favored by eight, even though they were on the road. That's good. I haven't done my depth chart. That's not good. I almost clicked yes to that game. So I'm going to set the starters by minutes. Masich, I want to do 28. Haywood, I want to do 28. Everyone else is going to do 20. And then I'll do the, the bench players myself. So... Hayward, I'm going to keep him where he is. Power forward, back up. I, was, I checked him to see if there's any chance of me put, maybe putting him at small forward for a few minutes. But I have Walker there. He's not rated as high, but he's a small forward. That's his position. That's going to stay his position. At center. So Randall is actually better. Outside shooting 59. Where's his D? I like the D. <laughs> not, not, no way you thinking. Um, 50. And Perry is 42. Why is Perry starting? That's weird. Okay, you can start Perry, but you're not going to play more minutes. Why 
Why do I have no center here? So he's got 22 and Randall's got 18. So let's fix that. There we go, 22 and 18. Happy Pappy. Yeah, and these guys here, they're garbage. They're garbage. Are they freshmen at all? Where does it say? Where am I looking? Class. Where's class? Oh, I'm just going to go here. It's probably staring right at it, but... Walton. Okay, he's a senior. Oh, he's not in the depth chart at all? DJ Walton? Who's the backup point guard? Oh, nobody. Okay, get in there. Get in there, man. What are you doing? Okay, Ricky Lee's going to have to play a bit more. I'm going to make him a 28-minute guy also. I will do... Uh, yeah, we'll do 28. And then we also need our backup shooting guard. It's going to have to be Anderson. We'll put Barrett in for a few extra minutes. He might even be up to like 30. Because Anderson's not very good. No. No, we'll do that. 26 and 10? That's not right. 28 and 12? Yeah, I don't want to go higher than 28. So I got four guys playing 28 minutes. I should probably have Edwards in a little bit more than that. A little bit more than his 12 minutes. So here's the halftime break. I don't like people playing more than eight minute blocks. So 24, 16. I'm, I'm good with that. So now let's go to the game. Are we still favored by eight after those changes? Didn't they see the changes I made? Should be favored by nine. Ooh, Maryland, 101 86. I like that 100. I want to see some 100s from Michigan this year. Ohio State beat Notre Dame. I hate both of those teams. So I don't even know. Can you tie? I wish they could tie. Nebraska wins. Michigan State, big win over South Florida. I like them. Tampa. Iowa over number six, UCLA, Indiana. This is a tough conference. I'm not used to everyone in the conference winning over good teams. Here we go. Michigan Providence. Game one. Invalid roster settings. Ooh. It was a big buildup for, for nothing. That There it is right there. Shooting guard. Why are you only playing eight minutes? Get in there. Get in there for your minutes. There we go. Now, once again, Michigan, Providence, in Providence. And we lost by 15. We are no longer undefeated. No longer undefeated. That was our one tough non-conference game. <laughs> we did not do well. I wish it was later because we still need to practice up. But Providence was more ready for us. And maybe my strategy is just wrong. Um, we'll see. Next game is at home versus Texas Southern in two days. So now hopefully we can get on a run. We're 0-1. I'm 0-1 in my Michigan career. Not good. I've had better starts at Indiana State. Providence, they're one of those teams. They could be good some years and other years not so good. That's my expert analysis. Some years they're good, some years they're not. Is this a good year for them? Time will tell, but they beat Michigan. So they're probably over the moon there. Not that Michigan is like all that. I mean, we're pretty good, I think. Even better now that I'm coaching. Hopefully. Hopefully. So we got Texas Southern. Let's have a look just to see. We were favored by 18 in this one. So maybe we can win this one. We were favored by 8 and we lost by 15. So 
Texas Southern, Michigan. Michigan State won again. Iowa lost against Washington. Purdue won. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 90 to 77. Haywood, 18 points. Ricky Lee, 12 points, 8 assists. Riley Barrett, 14, 5, and 2 blocks. Okay. Okay, it is Texas Southern at home, but it's a win. All you can do is win, you know? It's not like football where, yeah, they do look at uh, the... They do look at the quality of the win in basketball, but not as much. In football, you can win a close game against a bad team and just drop like a stone in the rankings. Basketball, you know, they rank them every once a week. Why is there a bylaw officer parked in front of my house? What's he doing? Behind the camera is my front window. And I just watched a, a bylaw officer park he's still sitting in his car so i'm gonna watch him he's on my watch list if he starts messing around he's gonna be on my call list schedule a visit out there and i'm gonna pitch <laughs> we'll see he's still sitting in his car he's got a some kind of a it looks like a credit card machine in his hand but might be a ticket writer. I don't know. I'm parked in the driveway and I just noticed that my sticker fell off my license plate. But I'm not on the road, so he's got nothing. He's got nothing on me. Maryland, Baltimore County. I've never heard of them. Their symbol looks like some kind of a hunting dog. The Maryland, Baltimore County hunting dogs are next. We got to be favored big in this. We're favored by 18. They're 0-2. Oh, wait a minute. The Retrievers. So I was right. It is a hunting dog. Uh, I'm going to keep that clicked while all the other games go. What is this guy doing? It's so distracting. He's sitting right outside my house. He's playing on some kind of machine in his car. <laughs> Okay, look around the Big Ten. Northwestern beat number 25, Miami. Wisconsin is no longer ranked. They must have had a bad loss because they were ranked 11th. Louisville. Did I say that right? Louisville? I would say Louisville, and I know that's not correct, but I'm not from there, and it just sounds weird. I, I think they say Louisville. Louisville? Um, it's one of those things. you got to be there with the accent. Otherwise, you just sound like a, sound like a, a wannabe idiot. Uh, 8367 over the retrievers. Massage with a good game. Um, I'm in Toronto. That's kind of the same. You, you always know when somebody's from out of town by the way they pronounce Toronto. We got letters of intent. Letters of intent. Riley Barrett and Deion Price got in a fight over a video game. Okay, don't be messing with Riley Barrett. He's one of my starters, Dion Price. What are you? I don't even know who you are. Oh, he's a red shirt freshman. I'll call him. Um, people from out of town tend to say, uh, tend to pronounce all the letters. So they'll say, what's going on here? Try harder. Okay, good. He responded good. They'll say Toronto. Yeah, we're going to Toronto. The second T, you don't even, it's not even there. It's silent. And the first one is kind of like a CH. Toronto? I say Toronto. So it's like a, you could say Toronto. Toronto. But that sounds weird. Toronto. C H R O N O, basically, is how I pronounce it. Going up to Toronto. Some people say Trana with an A. Trana. You want a Trana? But that just sounds. Not good. Also, the streets in Toronto, some people, the way they say it, will uh, will give them away. Not just from out of country. I mean, out of, like, people from out west, whatever, they'll say Toronto. Same with Calgary. If you say Calgary, I think they hate that. I think. I say Calgary. We're going to Calgary. 
I don't know if that's 100% right either. Calgary? But they, I know they hate Calgary or Calgary or whatever. But anyway, Louisville is how I say it. It's not as bad as people say Louisville, like the Louisville slugger. But I'm not going to say Louisville because I'm not from there. And it just sounds, I know that's correct, but it, it just sounds weird if I say it. I used to live in Spain, and the correct pronunciation for Barcelona is Barcelona. That's how they speak in Catalonia, where it is. I never said that just because it sounds like a little pretentious, kind of. Michigan State's up to number five. They just beat Vandy. The, the bylaw guy is gone. He just stopped, got out of his car, got back in his car, and left. So I don't know what that was about. But anyway, he's out of my hair. Purdue lost to Fairfield Stags. That's a team, I've heard of Fairfield, I didn't know they were called the Stags. I do know that now. South Carolina Upstate heads to Michigan, and they win. What is going, what, what is going on? How do we lose to an 0-3 South Carolina Upstate? Can you hear that? That was my stomach. My prestige is going to go into the pooper. Does it change mid-season? No, only if you make big mistakes like I did in recruiting. Uh, I'm going to check my strategy and just see how our training is going, how practice is going. So we're playing these two here, and we're not great. We're also playing this. So we still got a lot of work to do. This is why we're playing these easy games, because I thought... Okay, we'll have... Well, I didn't have anything to do with the schedule, but once I got the schedule, I thought, okay, that's good because it gives us time. We can beat these teams while we're practicing up, but we're not. We're not beating them. They're beating us. It could be the running gun style, but I got to give it a chance because we haven't practiced that style up yet, so we're, we're not where we should be. When we are, if we get all those proficiencies up to a decent level and we're still losing games we should win, then I'll have to take a look at it. But I really do like the, the up-tempo style. I don't want to change it. And it could just be we're, we're shooting poor. You know, I'm not checking the box scores, but I'm going to guess. I'll take a look at that last one because that was a pretty egregious loss against a team that we should really beat at home. That's the part that, that hurts the most. At home, we lost that. Okay, we got George Mason. They're 0-4. So that's already that's not good. We're winless against winless teams. Okay, in that 82-90 to 90 loss, we shot 40%. We took 67 shots. We shot only 31 from three, and our free throwing was atrocious. They shot 77% free throw, and almost 50% from the floor. So our D needs a little bit of work. Points in the paint. It's a little paintbrush. Did you see that? Second chance points is this. And fast break points is a speedometer. That's funny. I never noticed that. Marcus Morrissey was the player of the game. See, he's a four. Like, this is a player that I would have on my team. How did he get to South Carolina Upstate? I know he's from South Carolina, but his defense is a little poor. But I would take him. He's got good athleticism, good outside shot. Who we got here? We have George Mason. We're 344 in the net. That's like almost at the bottom. Awful, awful, awful. Iowa lost against number two, Xavier. That's a big game. Or Xavier. I don't know. It's another one. Northwestern, you're not going to be ranked anymore. They lost against the Dons. Michigan State beat 14 Arizona at home. That's a good win for them. Too bad. Maryland, big win over Tulsa. And any other ranked teams? No. So let's go. George Mason against Michigan. We squeaked that one out. We squeaked that one out against an 0-4 team. 78-72. to 72. Saving the association. That's good. I was going to do that anyway. I got 20 minutes left in this video. I think that's going to be it for the day for me. I got some stuff to do, some medical stuff. 
So look a look look a look at the standings. Let's take a look at the standings. So up at the top we have Maryland and Michigan. This is ranked, I don't know how it's ranked. Maybe by yeah, it's ranked by their overall record. I thought it would have been the net, but uh we're look at that. We're last as far as the net. Oh, this isn't sortable. Three and two. Three and two with a powder puff schedule. Embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Next game is Montana on the seventh. So we have about six days of simming to do. I'll take this opportunity to have a drink of water. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the CBGM. So it's run by a, a guy. That's it. Oh. <laughs> it's run by a guy. Uh, puts a lot of work into it, I guess, because it's it seems like a lot of work. There's over a hundred human controlled teams in that, and um, I've I took over just at the end of the the tournament, so I don't know how often the games are run, but every day there's something to do. You check in for a couple minutes, do your stuff send it away and then it runs sometime in, in the evening and you get your results and everything it's pretty pretty fun so far um so i took over two teams i took over oregon and loyal marymount and both of those teams the ai just butchered the recruiting so i've got a, like pretty big albatross hanging around my neck for four years unless these guys transfer out my plan is to not play the bad recruits at all and maybe they get upset and transfer out because uh, I really need those guys gone. Anyway, <coughs> four seasons. You can turn over a team in college basketball in four seasons. The entire roster is turned over. So I'm not too worried about it. But I think a season takes a couple months. So that's about eight months I'm going to have these guys on my team. Montana, they're decent. They're two and six, but I've seen them in the tournament before. I've heard of them, the Montana Grizzlies. They're in the Big Sky Conference, last I checked. So around the Big Ten, Northwestern win over Colgate, but they, I think they're going to be dropping out of the rankings because of that loss the other day. Michigan State with 100 points. They're sticking it to me. They beat Santa Clara, Steve Nash's alma mater. Maryland is looking good, even though it's UC Davis, but they... We've had some good wins. Iowa's good. Um, I'm surprised Purdue's not ranked, but if they're losing to Southern Illinois, the Salukis. What is that? That looks like an Afghan. One of those Afghan hounds. Montana, Michigan State. Here we go. Boom! There we go. We're getting better. 77-65 win. Looking good. Let's check our strategy, see how our training and practice is going. Uh, not much better than the last time I checked, but hey, every little bit, right? Every little bit. Okay, we're going to save that. Army. We got Army on the schedule. Okay, so now we're 4-2. and two. Uh, The loss to Providence, I can see... Other than that, we have one bad loss. We're four and one in games. We should be five and zero. Oh. Not too bad. Um, we'll see. Check a look at check a look at the upcoming schedule. Uh, next week we have Army Black Knights. They're zero and six, and then we have Cal State Northridge. They're zero and seven. So those should be wins. They're both at home. And it gives us, uh, that's two weeks, two games in two weeks. So that gives us a lot of practice time. Hopefully we're going to be a lot better at our system by the time these games roll around. Let's sim ahead. 15 minutes left in today's video. Probably going to take us to the end of December, I would think. We're going to try and um, power through this. If we don't have any injuries, we should have no problem getting through everything. So anyway, yeah, the CBGM. Uh, I'm also in a football one, the PSFL. I got the Arizona Cardinals. That's pro football. And uh, that's pretty fun too. Uh, that's why I'm only going to do two videos today. I got some stuff to do with those leagues. 
I have uh, two teams. I think the college basketball is in the staff hiring phase and the football is in the draft. They're in round six. So I got to do my picks for round six. I'm making some deals too. Making some trades. Yeah, I just traded uh, my running back. Anyway, this is basketball. Let's focus on basketball. St. Mary's. I was in that conference for a long time. Loyola Marymount. St. Mary's was usually ranked. So in that conference, I had Gonzaga to deal with, St. Mary's, and there was another one, another team that was kind of ranked sometimes that gave me a lot of problems. Always giving me problems, these teams. But anyway, Gonzaga and St. Mary's were the two big dogs in that conference. The... Um, the WCC conference, I think West Coast Conference or something. Arkansas State. Wow. With Prairie View, purple. I like the purple. I like the purple. I don't know what that team's all about, but I like the purple. For some reason, when it's simming like this, it always stops on Houston and Memphis. Seems like they play every week. Santa Clara, 102 to 70. They got Steve Nash back? They got Nash back? What's up? Get some more scouting reports here. I don't really look at them. I don't really look at the scouting reports. Who are we playing? Playing Army. 0-7 Army. Look at the net. We're like in the same area. Michigan and Army. That's not right. Northwestern, another loss. They are out of the rankings for sure. There's Indiana with a win over Little Rock Trojans. Michigan State, another big win. What's going on here? Penn State over Texas A&M. That's a good win. Quality win. Ohio State won. Rutgers won. Minnesota won. Everybody won except for Northwestern. Maybe Michigan. Five-point win over Army at home. I like it. We won. But come on, guys. Come on. We'll save that. I know the saving kind of slows everything down, but it's it's required. We haven't crashed yet, which is good, but I got to keep saving it. One crash can just ruin everything because I got all this video now. I don't want to crash and lose any, any progress. So how did that week go of practice? I want to start to see more uh, yellows and then eventually greens in the ones that we're playing. It's not coming up as much as I thought. Like man to man, these were already green and two three zone. See the half court trap. That's a good indication. These, this was all zero, so we're about up into the thirties after two months of practice. So that gives you some indication of how quickly players learn systems and how important it is to play the system of the players rather than fit the players to the system because it takes a long time for them to learn the system. Uh, with freshmen, it's not so bad, especially if they're redshirting. They can learn it while they're redshirting. But I try as much as I can to get players to fit into that fit into the system I'm already playing. But once I start to get a lot of my recruits in and playing, then I can start to open that up and have guys come in and slowly learn the system. Because I don't think I'm going to have any of these one and two star guys on the roster anymore. I'm going to go for three and above every year. So I think the days of having those lower players are gone. So if I have three players at each position, not three stars, I can kind of work them in slowly. That's the plan anyway. So the sim is up to December 19th. Our game's on the 21st. It's Cal State Northridge. We have 11 minutes left. I think we're going to get through to the New Mexico game and the Minnesota game on the 26th. So that'll take us to the end of the year. Right now we're 5-2. and two. We have um, two more non-conference games. The New Mexico game is part of a tournament, so if we win that, we'll have an even tougher game after. And um, who knows? I'd like to play a quality team before the conference play starts just so we can uh, see where we're at. All right, uh, just another look at the recruit class coming in. So we got two four-star guys coming in. A point guard and a shooting guard. Just getting back to what I was talking about. 
Okay, we've got two scouting reports to look at, Northwestern and Minnesota. So you can see the conference play is just around the corner, just uh, around Christmas time. So around the Big Ten, Penn State with a loss, Northwestern, they're not ranked anymore, and they won. Illinois won, Purdue lost, Baylor beat Minnesota. Michigan State with 100 points again, this time against Washington. That's going to be a good game when we play them, because if they're playing that high up-tempo stuff, and we are too, then uh, we could have a big high-scoring game there. Iowa won, and Wisconsin is back in the rankings. They won. So let's play Cal State Northridge. We won 78-66. We're not getting the high scores that I thought we would be getting. I, I've done everything I can to get those high scores, but the players got to play, and they got to shoot. So we're 6-2 and two now after that win. We're going to save it. Save after every game. Uh, six and two, we got the tournament, the South Beach Showcase coming up. And then we're into the conference play. So conference play, oh, that's what I'm looking We got nine minutes left in the hour. So hopefully we'll get to that conference play. So the date is the 22nd. We got a game on the 23rd and then Minnesota on the 26th. So if we win the game on the 23rd, we got another game in the tournament. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's a four-team tournament because there's only three days in between games. So uh, the New Mexico Lobos. And this game is in South Beach. I'm going to check the line on this because I have no idea where we stand on this. We're favored by nine and a half. Classified as a home game. Minnesota lost to the Milwaukee Panthers. That's a team I've never heard of. It could be made up today. Milwaukee Panthers. Never heard of them. There we go. 20-point win. Ricky Lee, 20 points. The freshman. We got Villanova now. What? I'm not going to say because there's no sim going on. Let's just jump into it. Oh, we lost. I didn't click it. We lost 86 to 80, but Villanova is a top, top team. Even more top, top than Michigan. And that's saying something. So I'm okay with that. Quality loss. We had a win against New Mexico and a loss against uh, Villanova. Okay. Puts a 7 and 3 going into the conference play. So 20 wins is kind of post game incident. Anwar Jackson was melting off about Will Haywood. Okay, Anwar Jackson, who are you? First of all, let's have a look. You're a walk-on. You were a walk-on. How do I get him out? I want to cut him. Anwar Jackson, see ya. You don't mouth off to the best player on the team. You do not do that. Hey, Michael White. There's another walk on here. All right, that's what happens. Haywood, I got your back. Can't have a walk on mouthing off to the best player on the team. Okay, I got to save this. I apologize if I did already. That kind of distracted me, that incident there. I don't respond well to uh, to incidents to begin with. Usually, I like to let them go, but if it's something clear cut like that, you got to walk on mouthing off, and the other player is not really doing anything. You know exactly who to go after and who to punish, right? And uh, when I come, I bring the hammer. All right, Michigan against Minnesota tomorrow. This is Christmas today, December twenty fifth. Kentucky, twelve and zero. They just hammered Villanova by 32 points. The team that just beat us. So that tells you where we're at. Here we are, conference play. No ranked teams playing against each other. We got Minnesota at home. Minnesota comes in at 4-5. and five. We are 7-3. and three. This is kind of one of those games that tells us where we're sitting. I'm going to check our, uh, our practice. Oh, we got an invalid... Roster Is that because of um, the guy I cut was in garbage time? Yeah, he was a garbage time player. So I'm going to have to get a new power forward in there for garbage time only. 
Actually, I'll put this. Oh, no, he's in my center position. Here we go. That's fine. So Iowa beat Penn State. Rutgers beat Purdue. And Indiana was all over Northwestern. That's a good win for Indiana because Northwestern is on the bubble of being ranked. So a 28-point win against them speaks volumes. Here we go. Minnesota against Michigan. 15-point win. That's how you do that. 83 to 80. I'm going to look at the box score and see how we did in the second half. Because with my my uh, my system, we only won by two in the second half. That will improve as time goes by. We were only 54% from the free throw line, but they were only 58. Our three-point shooting was better. Our shooting overall was good. Okay, so we're going to save that. 1-0 and in conference. We still have five minutes left in the hour, so we're going to do another couple games maybe. Maybe one, maybe two. Who knows? See if we have time. I don't know if we're going to have time. We'll see. What movie is that from? Comments. Um, I'll give you the full quote. I don't know. I don't know if we'll have time. Will Ferrell is the one who said it. There, that gives you... Uh, all the information you really need. Just go out and watch every Will Ferrell movie until you come to that part. Next game is Northwestern. They're eight and four. We're traveling to, I think they're in Chicago, I want to say. We're traveling there anyway. It's Illinois. I know they're in Illinois. Um, this is a big game. We're eight and three. They're eight and four. They've been ranked. They're not currently ranked, but they're looked upon as a top 25 ish team. And as far as the line goes, let's have a look. We're favored by five and a half points. That's good. Maryland with 100 on Minnesota, 173, and then Purdue beat Penn State. Okay, Michigan Northwestern. We lost by five. Five point loss. So we're eight and four. They're nine and four. Eight and four is not bad. Not bad. You notice I'm not as quick to save after losses. <laughs> Listen, I'm not one of those guys that saves, plays until I win, and then saves. Okay, everything is live here. But if it crashes after loss, it's not my fault. You know, I'll save mostly, but we only have three minutes left in the hour, so I'm trying to get to as many games as possible. We got Wisconsin on January 6th. That's two games away. So we got Penn State, they're seven and seven. On the second, that's three days from now. Illinois, nine and two, that's on the fourth. That's five days from now. And then on the sixth, we got Wisconsin. They're 17th in the country, 10 and one record. And look, it saves at the end of the month anyway. So we got two minutes left. We're not gonna get to those games. We're probably only gonna get to the next game, which is Penn State. Penn State is another school that I visited. My cousin went there on a scholarship. Oh my God, the life four years in Penn State. Oh my God, I can't imagine. If I had to do it all over again, I would do everything I can to be good enough at something to get a scholarship at a big American university because that is quite the life. Full, full ride at Penn State for four years. Just unbelievable. Even touring that place, is, everything seems brand new. The stadium is huge. Uh, they got a brand new, well, they had at the time a brand new hockey arena. Like everything just state of the art at that campus. It's a really nice campus, Penn State. The whole town, uh, State College, I think it's called the town. The whole town is the college, basically. Okay, around the Big Ten, Maryland, big win. Wisconsin, big win. Indiana, huge over Iowa. 28 point win against the ranked team at home, but still. So we're traveling to Penn State. What are we doing here? We lost by one point. We lost by one point. Eight and five now. We got 30 seconds left in the in the hour. Are we going to get to this Illinois game? Do I want to get to the Illinois game? Just cut my losses for the day. We have a team incident in the inbox that's going to ensure that we don't make that game. I got to deal with this now. I at least got to read it. What's happening here? 
Riley Barrett and Dion Price have been exchanging tweets. They're dogging each other pretty good. Both attitudes have dropped. Who's Dion Price? He's a red shirt freshman. Have I spoken to him already? Bro, you don't want to get on my bad side. You haven't even played yet. Maybe I'm not the one with the problem here. Maybe you are the one with the problem. Don't back talk me, man. Do I want him gone? I can do better than a one star. Your attitude's been lousy. I'll do my best to... Ch oh, he smartened up when I said that. He smelled what was cooking. I don't care if you transfer Dion Price. You're a one... You're a half star right now and you're three and a half potential. Okay? Don't be messing with Riley Barrett. He's three stars, buddy. Okay, we hit the hour. So let's go to the dashboard. We're 248 in the net. We've slowly crawled up, but we lost two in a row. We're averaging 80 points a game, which is kind of low. I wanted more than that. Eight and five altogether, one and two in the conference. Uh, everybody seems happy. Dion Price is not, but I had to talk with him. Uh, Colin Randall's not. I gotta see what's going on with him. Michael White's not, but he's not playing. So, uh, Colin Randall, are you playing enough? Well, he's playing 22 minutes. Maybe because he's not starting? What if I did this? Give you these two minutes and give you those two minutes. Does that help? Does that? Let me see if I go back here and he's starting. How do I change the starting? I don't know. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks for watching video number two. Video number three will be coming. I'll probably be wearing a different shirt this time because I'm not going to film it today. I'm going to do it probably tomorrow. Okay, thanks. I'll save this for one last time. And I'll say goodbye.